the next program will be how do we build a program that stops the robot on the third black line so i'll add two more lines here and we want to stop on the third line let's add the three lines the second line will be right here and the third line will be right here now what you might think is that it's quite straightforward just move stop at this line then move stop at this then move stop at this as you might remember from the touch sensor some of the programs although very not intuitive are kind of logical so the solution for this program will be not very intuitive but we it will be logical again let's start with the first try to build such a program in the program we move forward we wait for a black line then we stop so this here moves the robot to the first line then we can again move forward let's zoom out a little follow the same principle move forward then wait for the color sensor to detect black color sensor compare color and the color should be black and then stop again take the tank block and make it stop download this here is the program how started and as you can see the robot stops at the first line and based on our program we would expect the robot to move forward detect a line stop then move forward again detect a line stop again but it only stops on the first line let's start the program again what happens here is the same that happened with our touch sensor a few videos ago and uh, it is the way the robotic sensors work basically on every robotic system and uh, the problem is that when the robot moves it detects a black line then it stops again and then it starts moving again until it detects a black line but the sensor is already above a black line so it's already detecting a black line and what happens is that it moves stops try to move again try to move again but it is already over a black line so it detects the black line instantly after a millisecond or so and it stops so it's actually detecting this line twice that's why the program is not behaving as we would expect how do we solve this the first solution will be to add a small weight block let's try it if we now add a small weight block very small weight block just after we detect the first line oh, it, 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 we can add it on several times let's let's do it even simpler so we detect uh, we move forward detect the line stop then let's move forward with motor a and d wait for about a millisecond uh, a second or half a second wait for half a second and only after this half a second has passed we would start searching for the next line for the third line this will give the robot a chance to move away from the black line so to move away from the black line before trying to detect the second black line we are stopping moving again 
waiting for half a second so that we are no longer over a black line and then try to detect the second black line. The program is now running. Let's run the program again. Why is this happening? Because we are moving, we are reaching the black line and after we reach, reach the black line we stop, then we start moving again for about half a second and in this half a second we actually move to here. So it's after the second line, it's after this line and then we start looking for a black line and we only detect the third. So the question is how much should we wait after we are on the first line and after we move forward. It should not be half a second, let's try with a tenth of a second, something smaller. I have changed the value in the wait block in the program for half a second, not half a second, a tenth of a second. And I'll now run the program. And as you can see the robot stops on the second line. Again, this is for this video. In the next video, we'll try to remove this weight block because uh, although it is working, it is not a good practice to have such weight blocks in the program and it's kind of a hack, so it's not a real solution.